Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create wire rope clip or clamp rivet family. In this tutorial, I will use and load in the created nut and thread rod which parameter controlled by lookup table. You can find and watch how to create nut and thread in the channel. This is manufacturer specifications. There are 3 mm to 40 mm rope diameter. And I will refer this data to create CSV file. And I will refer the data in the picture to create the parameter. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacturer specifications. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. I will use this formula for default do not found. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 13 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for age. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for F. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for C. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 26 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for I. Select instance and click OK. Offset 13 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 33 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 6 mm and create similar. Select the reference plane and mirror to left side. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 6 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 6 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for A. Select instance and click OK. Back to front view. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to A. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 3.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the swept blend. Sketch path and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile 1 in reference level. Sketch path. Align and lock to reference plane.
Edit Profile 2 in Reference Level. Sketch Path. Align and Lock to Reference Plane. Finish the swept blend. Check in 3D view. Back to front view. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Sketch path. Align and lock to reference plane. Finish the void extrusion. Go to reference level. Align and lock to reference plane. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Sketch path. Align and lock to reference plane. Finish the void extrusion. Go to reference level. Align and lock to reference plane. Check in 3D view. Back to front view. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Sketch path. Align and lock to reference plane. Finish the void extrusion. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Align and lock to reference plane. Back to front view. Select the void extrusion and mirror to right side. Edit the mirrored void extrusion. Align and lock to reference plane. Finish the editing. Check in 3D view. Back to front view. Go to create. Select the void sweep. Sketch path. Align and lock to reference plane. Edit profile in reference level. Draw the ellipse. Align and lock to reference plane. Finish the void sweep. Select the void sweep and mirror to right side. Edit the void sweep in back or front view. Align and lock to reference plane. Edit profile in reference level. Align and lock to reference plane. Finish the void sweep. Check in 3D view. Back to front view. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align and lock to reference plane. Edit profile in reference level. Draw ellipse. Align and lock to reference plane.
Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Insert and load the created nut and thread rod family into project. Go to family type. Go to manage lookup table. Import the CSV file. Add a new parameter for lookup table. Select text for type and select other for group. Add parameter value for lookup table. The value is CSV name. Click apply. Add a new parameter for RD. Select instance and click OK. Set 16 mm for RD value as default. Add formula for a parameter. Click apply. Add formula for C parameter. Click apply. Add formula for D parameter. Click apply. Add formula for F parameter. Click apply. Add formula for H parameter. Click apply. Add formula for I parameter. Click apply and OK. Drag and drop the thread rod family to the reference level. Select the family. Assign length parameter to D. Assign nominal diameter parameter to A. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the thread rod family and mirror to right side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Move down the thread rod and align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to reference level. Drag and drop the nut family to the reference level. Associate nominal diameter to A. Back to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the nut and mirror to right side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Select the thread rod family. Assign the material parameter to material. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to 3D view. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. OK, the creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.